Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and update you guys with day two of the jug. Um, so before I go over my gear and everything, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, cover this. So we're about 17 hours played now. Uh, and we are ironically still deathless and I've been really throwing my face at content. Um, yeah, so let me go ahead and jump right on in to a tier nine map, which is pretty much about where we're at with our progress. So let's go. Overall, I'm quite impressed with the survivability of Jug. Uh, we knocked out our Uber lab today and we picked up Unbreakable, which quite literally makes you not break. Um, kind of crazy. Our damage is honestly not that bad. It may look kind of bad, but that's that's because we're still on a four link. Um, you know, four link RF is not really going to get you very far. We did go ahead and set up our Infernal Cry today. As you guys can see, when the packs kind of explode, for example, this blue pack right there, the Infernal Cry setup helps massively with clearing till we get some more damage. Oh, I got stuck. phase there we go good yeah overall i'm actually pretty happy with the character um i don't really know why i was expecting it to do a lot less damage i mean the damage really doesn't feel that bad considering i'm you know in ssf with no access to the trading at all i don't have anything that crazy um it's pretty good it's 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 really good especially when i get to quality all my gems get level 21 versions get a weapon that's actually good get a plus one amulet like there's a lot of really good goodies to come so i'm pretty excited for that not even including the maven boots a source of exposure we got it we've got a long way to scale still all right lake what you got for me Swap the water tile with an empty tile. My brain doesn't work here. Just do this, thanks. All right, it's pretty much done. Perfect. So on the left hand side, I've got some uh, some numerics. That's basically just showing my RF damage, 94k, my um, <clears throat> fire trap, which is 103k. Wait a minute, why did my fire trap go down? That's weird. Huh? Up in mine, fire trap, swift affliction, life tap. Yeah, I don't know what happened. That doesn't really matter though. Um, okay, cool. So to talk about the tree, it looks pretty similar to exactly what I predicted. Uh, I'm pretty happy with everything so far. Um, I think I am now working on removing the minion nodes to potentially come up here to grab like breath of flame, heart of flame, and then respect like, for example, the little baby life node here and like the baby life node here. And then go ahead and grab like cruel preparation uh, i'm really enjoying asylum right now so the reason for asylum is asylum plus the two baby nodes gives 30 percent curse resist plus the mastery is 20 percent, so 30 plus 20 is 50 and then on my onslaught flask not the best place to have it but this does work uh it gives 48 percent reduced effect of curses so that puts us at 98 percent 
reduced effective curses, so curses are literally nothing. Uh, I'd prefer to have this on like a ruby flask or something where it has much better uptime, but it doesn't really matter right now. Like this is totally fine. Um, yeah, chaos res is basically capped, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, overall, I thought my character would kind of want to go block around, kind of around now, but I'm just really not taking that much damage. Um, having 40,000 base armor with no flasks is really helping a lot with, uh, un is it unbreakable? Is that what it's called? I always forget these jug nodes. They're all uns. Unbreakable, yeah. All right, so to cover my gear, um, let's see, we got an Abyssal Scepter here. I think I ID'd it. I don't remember when I ID'd it. Was it today, maybe? And I... I, at first, like, you know, at first glance, you think that that fire damage is a prefix, in which case it's shit, but nope. The fire damage is actually a suffix with a burn. Burn's always a suffix, so craft an increase, and now it's just a really high increase weapon, which is kind of why I want to drop this, because the nodes up here are multi, and you need to balance your increases with your multi. All right, so over here we got Malevolence, Tempest Shield, and Molten Shell. Helmet was the most recent addition we just got. Um, remember I was talking about using Jun to get my gear? Well, just so happens, Jun dropped us a helmet. It's got T2 life regen on it, a perfect life roll. Uh, we unveiled the fire and chaos and crafted plus one AOE gems. So this will be our helmet till our elder helmet. I would actually prefer to have RF in my helmet for better clear, but that's a lot of off coloring for that helmet. So I'm just leaving it alone. Fire trap resides in there for now. Found a pretty good amulet, uh, gives us very high dex with chaos res and it's got a life roll. I slapped arsonist on there for our anoint for that multi that we're lacking along with the life regen. I uh, got really lucky and found a Vix Lunaris. Now, I never really brought attention to this because I didn't really think about it, but Vix Lunaris gives cannot be frozen, which works really well until we find a divine vessel and can essentially get the cannot be frozen. Well, thankfully, we also dropped the divine vessel, so we uh, killed RS Sister of Light and we have cannot be frozen. So now we're looking to replace this shield. I'm not sure what to replace it with. It should be really easy, realistically, to replace. Um, also, the unique options, Saffles Frame, Dawnbreaker, Aegis Aurora, sorry, not that one, Dawnbreaker, Saffles, Rise of the Phoenix, would all work as really good replacements. Even just a standard 2 max res shield would be good, right? So that's going to be worked on replacing. Um, I got two new rings today, so basically just res dex, chaos res. Um, same thing on this one. Oh, this one actually was what I was hoping for. I got a minimum frenzy ring. Minimum Frenzy allows us to sustain Frenzy charges while mapping without the need of Blood Rage. So the Minimum Frenzy is very nice right now. Also, Frenzy charges give attack speed. Attack speed just makes everything feel better. So as for the Fire Trap links that go back, we got Trap in Mind, Fire Trap, Swift Affliction, Life Tap. And in our chest piece, we have Ink AoE, Righteous Fire, Ellie Focus, Efficacy. And remember, because of uh, Unrelenting, Untiring? Unrelenting? I don't ever remember these nodes. What is this one? Unyielding, sorry, wrong one. Unyielding gives us the ink AoE. So the damage you actually see over here on the left is not even accurate because we get bonus damage and AoE with our endurance charges up. Um, so that's kind of cool. And that's basically would potentially give me the ability to remove ink AoE and run efficacy instead. All right, in my boots here, I uh, got some pretty nice flippy floppies today. 25% movement speed with some chaos res. Uh, I really like them a lot. We've got our Hex Touch, Life Tap, Flammability, Frost Blink. This Life Tap doesn't have to be here. Um, I could technically replace it. I just am too lazy, so I'm just leaving it alone. Uh, my gloves, I found some new gloves today. Um, they're basically just nothing really that crazy. They've got life with a little bit of a little bit of chaos res and some regen. You can tell these were also via Jun. Uh, our belt is super lacking, but you know, it is what it is. And yeah, that's pretty much about it. My flasks don't have anything special. They're just, you know, really shit at the beginning um again really really liking the character uh, i'm very excited for the future synergy of being able to survive and tank damage uh what i mean by that is for example i think i showed you guys in the previous video but i'll just show you guys again because it's fun uh let's see it's, it's oops did not mean to kill them with shield charge so when you stand like in the middle of the pack of zombies here whenever they hit you the physical damage you mitigate is added as life regen, and I believe that that life regen scales off life regeneration rate, such as like on my helmet, uh, and I think even like the Jug Ascendancy, right? So the goal is essentially the more you mitigate, the more you're rewarded, uh, and since physical is not really a problem right now, for example, you know, we're flashed up at 64,000 or 60,000, we're not even in red maps yet, we really just want to work on raising our max res. So raising our max res, we would have options like 
Saffles Frame, which would work really well in conjunction with this because Saffles will also give Spell Block. So we'll be sitting at like, uh, so right now I have what, 25 Spell Block with Saffles. We're going to be at least like 50% Spell Block. Um, but our Max Res goes up by four. I think even our Chaos Res. So Saffles is something I really, really want to move towards. Dawnbreaker is a good option because physical converted to elemental is totally fine um, since it allows your armor to roll kind of like twice and you get Scorch. Since we haven't killed Maven yet, Maven won't be for a little bit. Uh, Scorch is a straight up damage multiplier. So Dawnbreaker is the most offensive option. Also, 2000 armor is huge on it. Yeah, anyway, that's pretty much about it. Uh, I can pop up the goals command here just to kind of remind you guys what we're going to be doing. Uh, over here is a nice little sheet where I'm basically going through and putting little check marks on everything that we kind of get. Um, so for example, here we got our minimum frenzy craft, we got our fire multi, uh, and then unveiled all hybrid chaos. And guess what? We also have the AOE gems. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty nice. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. So the next video is going to be posted literally right here. So I'm going to catch you guys all later. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day but Mondays at twitch.tv slash pox.